All right, Eric, good morning from Hillsboro, Kansas. I'm sitting here waiting on this customer to come pull these three pieces off that I brought to him. I done made a drop the day before over in St. Louis, Missouri. And after I leave here, I'm gonna be heading to DeWitt, Iowa, then Naperville, Illinois, and then all the way over to Livonia, Michigan. Five drops on this baby here. Boy, that shit was looking good, huh? That bumper set some shit off. That flatbed didn't look too bad either. Anyway, yeah, they, yeah, this customer kind of had it, have, ha, has me just kind of <laughs> going here, there, and everywhere. So this will be a fun little trip. I'm happy to be back over here at Tucker. And um, it's nice to have that support team. Stay tuned. Okay, so we made it over here before sunrise in DeWitt, Iowa. I'm gonna get this tarp off before the workers show up. Be ready to get it off and get going over here to Naperville, Illinois. Yeah, this, this little car just shows up. These guys cut us off on the road and then they come to where I, I'm gonna unload and they cut me off. Guy parked right in front of the damn door that the forklift needs to come out to unload me. And they're like, oh, it'll only take five minutes. And it only took five minutes and then they unloaded me and got their piece. And, uh, well, I made a call to my guy over in Livonia, Michigan. Like, hey, man, I'll be there Monday with your stuff. He's like, man, I need it today. So I was like, all right, man, I'll be there. I didn't have much time, but uh, hey, I'll make it. And then, you know, when you get in one of those big rushes, shit like this happens. You get stuck in thick, heavy traffic. And worst of all, I get to hear this freaking guy. Just imagine, you see, that's Radio 101, man, for electronics. I mean, that's the absolute 101. You better be in a parody engage back to the bench. Oh, uh, you got the screwballs out there. You got the hack shops, the brusters, and the con artists out there, the kitchen table guys, you know, trying to act like the okay, Mr. Hard Drive. But you just can't do it that way. If you're, don't, don't even bother trying unless you got the proper tools and location to do it. Back to the bench. Yeah, that there is the infamous mud duck out in the desert. Calls people window lickers. He's, I don't know, man. He's got like a super powerful radio and you hear him everywhere you go. No matter where you are in the country, you got a CB radio and you'll hear him at least at one point in the day. Jesus. Uh, yeah, just imagine like right now, you know, being near a truck stop or in a DX cycle, the signals are actually... Nobody can Above, you know, and sometimes horizontally, but mostly from above there, the actual signal strength that you're injecting into the back of there. Just imagine how jacked up those receivers are. <laughs> they can't do a receiver, they definitely can't do a transmitter. That's why it's all, all spider box and noise sound all garbled. They don't understand it. Back to the mall. There are some guys, part swappers, you know, they're just, you know, part swappers, just repairing. Anybody can just be, you know, Part swappers. Anybody's a part swapper, but the tuning that requires much more knowledge and equipment. Back to the bench. Jesus Christ. I back at you. You're welcome. Safety first while you're rolling and strolling. Yeah, it'd be like you're not having a windshield doing 70 mile an hour down the road, right? Yeah, you got the picture. Right, it's the same thing with all the other signals coming in. Just imagine being next to a transformer. Back to the bay. Oh, yeah, they're going to argue. The window lickers, the broadsters, the screwballs, you know, the flip-flop wearers, you know, and the borners, they're all going to argue about that, but most you don't hear them on the radio. <laughs> There's one. We got a window licker on the hook and listen to his junk. Yeah, he's a window licker. What a prick, man. He, if you hadn't figured out, he is a freaking know-it-all. Seems like he's on the radio all day, every day. Anyway, a quick look at the map. Look down at the map and I'm like, yeah, there's a quick way to get out of this fucking shit. Sneak over here, went around this mess. Um, 
Didn't take too long, went right around it. I don't know if it saved me any time, but at least I got to see a little bit more of Michigan. And I made it over here to Livonia. This guy wanted his stuff that night. I got a violation on my logbook, but uh, he got his stuff. Either way, whether he got it or not, I'm staying the weekend in Michigan. Be back in a minute. What the fuck, Chuck? You still ain't subscribed? Come on, man. Click that subscribe button. Then ding that little bell to get notified every time I put out a video. Give this video a like. It helps the channel grow. And, um... Well, you ain't gotta click it if you don't like it, but I'd appreciate it if you did. <laughs>